So it's Monday, um, tomorrow the lambs are going. Um, I just thought I'd show you what's happening. So that mob down there is coming into here and then um, they get boxed with the other two. And then there's a mob down there on the flats and a mob up there just above the road. Um, so they'll come up, you might have seen the video, up here onto the road, box with them into the yards, draft them up at five o'clock tomorrow morning and on the truck at 5.30. And um, yeah, um, happy days. Hopefully um, they kill out all right and yeah, get um, some income. There they go. Well, these are the yards. Um, basically, there's enough holding space back here to hold um, the thousand animals that we're gonna draft tomorrow morning. Um, and straight up there is the um, uh, loading race so lambs will go um to go um that right side um use straight ahead and the lambs that are too light go where gus and the quarter and then um pretty easy to to chase the lambs straight up there so um it'll just be jeff and i in the morning it's quarter to four um just gotta get those yeah, uh, three mobs um and i'm gonna box them up and then the old man's gonna meet me um at the yards and we'll draft them up and um pop them on the truck gonna need these this morning and i'll be able to see where my dogs are in the dark Lights on. Light up a little bit of the sheep yards. Just light up here. Turn them on. And a bit of light. It'll definitely help a little bit. Sheep coming down here. And, oh, let's go get them. Good morning, boys. A bit of a rude awakening. You guys are steady. Got his lights on there, so we should be able to see him as he goes around the paddock. This is the first mob hunt. Mob number two. There's a slow girl there. Mob number three. Rambo's trick machine area. Well, we're all go. Trucks here. We'll just turn around at the intersection. Just got these and those to draft, and then uh, yeah, have them on there on their way. In all. And that's the last of them. Oh, go. Oh, go. Up you go. Quad, quad. They're looking pretty good, really. Some big ones in here. I don't know. Looking at them now, maybe average 39, 40. We'll be able to tell once they're um, once they're killed. Good looking Lambos. So we've got a runner, um, one that jumped the fence on the road. Set these gates up and go grab it. 
Um, there's just one on the road. I'll see if I can get. Get up, dude. So you can see that's where some of the earlies came out of and then the rest were down there oh, and down there where those deers are. So um, you can see I didn't leave any which is handy. Lucky in the dark. Sit down! Sit down duck! The dry user in, um, so there's 63 already there, and then we just um, the old man had an idea to put the um, lights with the cow use, so we're just going to drive uh, draft the light lambs off the cow use. Well, I go, Gus, and then the light lambs will get a another drench. Well, I go, Gus, and um, go straight down out on the um, chicory and clover. These girls are on the truck now. Ten, twelve, one, twelve, plus sixty-three. I think it was. So these girls are pretty big. I reckon they'll do. I don't know, twenty-nine, thirty kilos on the hook. Sorry, girls. It's the end of you. In sending stock, you need to make sure all their feet are sound. Um, make sure that they're, you know, a healthy animal. Um, they shouldn't be trucked at all if they're not um, walking on all four feet. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Well, I go. What? Oh, yeah, there goes the second truck. All loaded, good to get that done. It's three minutes to seven. Yeah, ideal three minutes to seven. So, what did that take us? Took me three hours. It's good girls. Um, so they'll do another year. Oh, she knows the way out. That gate, hopefully that gate stays there. Um, so these, these girls will go on some pasture that isn't too long and isn't too um, um, nutritious, I guess. Just not the best pasture. Um, so, because they can get mastitis quite easily. 
um, if you give them too too much good feed, they'll um because they're still milking. Um, I guess yeah, if you give them too much good feed, they'll milk really well and they'll have two big udders and then they get mastitis, and you'll find that um, more of them will get um, uh, bad udders for next year. 68, 268. Well, bricky time. So we got rid of 170 ewes and 480 lambs. So that was great to do in one morning. Um, and the schedule, I mean, the price for them is better um, earlier in the season. So um, we'd probably be some of the first people to get rid of lambs in this area. Um, I know in Canterbury, um, they'll be getting rid of lambs pretty early too. You have to uh, um, lightly stock use um in the winter if they're um when they're when they're lambing um so that's that's the only um downfall of lambing them early and getting a big lamb is that they eat a lot more grass um so we're basically saying that um they might eat more grass but we're getting a better price for them so um uh, dollars per hectare that you your income um should be similar or well we're working on it should be better uh, uh, just because we're getting yeah big fat lambs early worth a lot of money so um well, this year it's not quite like that but um i don't think anyone's getting a lot of money for anything they do at the moment breakfast time and um duke was staring at me earlier wondering where his breakfast was gotta go back to it um i think there's about 150 to drench pop them back out in that paddock so these lambs um i know that they're all under 35 kilos so um, I'm going to drench them with 7 mils. thing affecting these lambs now will just be um, worms so that I'm getting rid of that that um, problem um, with the drench but um, the other thing could be um, clostridial diseases um, there's my black leg lax disease um, pulp kidney tetanus it's one other very common one um, and we usually do a five-in-one jab for them and if I do find any in the paddock that have just suddenly died, because that's um, a symptom, so you just find them dead, they usually die within um, 12 hours, 24 hours, like quite quickly, um, and they'll be all blowing up. Um, then I'll get them in and give them a, a five and one, we call it, which um, yeah, protects against um, yeah, those clostridial diseases. Um, but yeah, th these are looking pretty good nice nice even line um, and I can expect these to grow at plus of 300 grams per day um, on that chicory and clover um, uh, but yeah so I mean I would I'd say that these would average around about that 29 kilo maybe 30 kilos so um, I can uh, work that out from today next time I weigh them um, they're growing uh, and then and then how many days and I'll be able to um, see um, how many kilos I've put on and divide that by the days and work out the growth rates um, but yeah I don't think these will be killed before Christmas just because of the space but um, we'll just see um, the meatworks try to prioritize um, milk lambs which is fair enough because like, like you saw this morning it was super efficient I mean um, I had all these earlies um, drafted and um, weighed and and it was just easy they're just straight on the truck to the meatworks and they killed killed within um, you know at least three hours um, every hour that they're off mum they um, they can go backwards a bit and um, yeah the sooner you can get them to the meatworks and dead um, the better for the lamb um, and the more efficient it is 
including like you know the the, the meat production done all this work you want them to be um, prime and, and um, happy when they're killed rather than you take them off mum and you, they wait around the yards and then they go on a truck and then they wait around at the meat works you know that's not very efficient um, so I feel that um, New Zealand's really um, got that down to a fine art um, of wean on the truck, gone and, and, and killed. Um, so it's um, efficient for everyone. Right, well, I'll give these a count. Um, they've had their drench. Um, so this drench will actually line up with our weaning of our mixed age ewes and lambs. So um, that's ideal. So that, what do I go do? When, um, when I drench um, everything else, they'll all, they'll all be together so I can box them into, um, I can box them up and um, everyone will have their same drenching date. Yeah, it can be a bit of a fiddle if, if it doesn't work out. Um, you know, you want to keep them separate or you're over drenching, which is something you don't want to do. Um, as I said in another video, um, we do have a bit of drench resistance, um, uh, which is basically because in the past we've been less aware and haven't um, really bothered to check if our drenches are working that well, um, because they do work and they have a, a very positive effect on them, but um, we, we haven't really um, worried if they're not working perfectly and if they aren't working perfectly then it's not it's not good for anything um, and then you end up yeah having you're using too many products on these on these animals all right I'll just give these a count cool uh, 165 um, so I'll take these away now um, this will be fun um, it's only a small mob but don't know what lambs are like um, they they just have no idea they don't, don't they don't know where they're going um, and they just follow the leader so if you um, you bark your hunt away at the wrong time and they get on a mission you're um, you, you, you struggle to slow them down they'll they'll just take off and and you can't really stop them um, yeah, you need you need ten hunterways all lined up in a perfect line, and even then you gotta you gotta stop the first one. Um, so yeah, um, I, I I know that these are going back to where they came from, so they um they they'll know where they're going, which is quite handy. There's Patrick, this pet sheep down there. He's just having a nap. Um, it's a big morning for him. He doesn't usually get mustered. He needs to go back in his own little paddock. So I'll just show you what these ewes are going into. Unfortunately, this has freshened up a little bit, but um, yeah, I, I just don't want them going into um, too much feed, so there's not, not a lot in here. Um, there was hoggets in here maybe 10 days ago, or maybe four or five days ago. It's just we had this rain, and everywhere around the farm just taken off. little paddock just down there so you know that's only I think it's 1.6 hectares for 260 ewes um, so what's that three three acres and you can see the crop coming up I bet half of that is weeds but um, that'll get a post-emergent spray surely so um, gates set up um, I'll go grab those ewes chuck them in there and then I will I will um, go and grab the lambs and pop them um, back in that chicory and clover paddock. I've already got a can of these girls so they can just go. where they came from um, they came straight in here which is nice um, 
had their drench, got their minerals. Um, the, that drench has the cobalt and selenium in it, um, which is something that is slightly deficient in our soils. Um, and now they'll probably take a check for a couple of days because they, they'll, um, they won't be that happy about missing their mums, um, but they'll get over it and then um, they'll start growing and hopefully be gone um, mid-January. Um, I guess I can work that out pretty easily. 300 grams a day after 50 kilos now. Um, so they're gonna put on, if I want them killed at um, 44 kilos-ish average. Uh, uh, yeah, if I want them killed at 44 kilos, then um, 14 kilos divided by 300 grams a day, it'll give me how many days it should take me all these these um, lambs will be on the truck and um, yeah the youth the youth are away they're um, in their paddock you would have seen so that's that that's waning for our early 2023 um, if you enjoyed the video um, give me a, a like and subscribe that'd be fantastic well I've just checked my um, app we have an app for um, tells us how um, our animals kill out and um, what we've sent and things like that um, and those lambs did 19.66 kilos so I'm um, pretty happy with that um, 482 so um, no, that's a good result pretty um, happy days um, while the while the money isn't too bad